Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Monica and I'm a photographer based in New York City. The initial premise of this channel was to buy crazy experimental films and show them to you all. In this video today, I wanted to show you two experimental films that I will no longer try or no longer shoot with. Even though I think they're cool, I just, I won't. I won't shoot them anymore, okay? The very first film I'm going to share with you all is Grid Film. This is made by the company Brooklyn Instant Film Initiative, BKIFI. I bought this film literally when I decided to start restart my channel. I bought a whole bunch of these. Again, like I said, that's the premise of this channel is to try weird films that maybe people won't buy. It was fun but after seeing the results of the film i feel like the photos would have been better without the grids like the tones are great also i used a point and shoot for this film i used my yashika j mini with that camera the camera decides to use the flash when you're in a dark setting so i was okay with that let's go through some of the images um, that I took with this film. You'll see, you'll see what I mean when you start looking at these photos because you're just like, man, if the grid wasn't there, that photo would have been fine. There's a lot of that on this roll. If you can see, the photo would have been fine without the grid. I mean, I don't mind the grid for like my mirror selfies or my like self portraits or whatever. I think for the things that I caught in the street, I kind of wish the grid wasn't there because maybe I can like I don't know because the grid is there I can't use these images for any projects that's the main reason why I would never use this film again I knew that this was going to be super experimental so I wasn't really serious about taking the photos of myself or my shadow or like my neighborhood I didn't care but when it came down to me going to like Times Square area and I just wanted to finish the role so bad I took images that i really wish i didn't use this film yeah but anyway sound off in the comments let me know what you think about these images with this film i just don't think i would spend 18 dollars on it again ever again this can't be life right now you have to decide on your own if you want to spend that kind of money for photos that look like these the second film that I probably won't buy again even though out of the two I like this film the best. I also will no longer use Revlog Streak 200. I really like the effect of the pre-scratched like film or images. I'm gonna read what it says on the Revlog website. Streak film adds a vintage look to your pictures which will look as if they were taken through a scratched window or lens. It was very scratched, at least my batch. And I do feel like there is a place and a time for it. I feel like if I can't control where the effect will land, it could also be like a good kind of accident and just like, or a waste of film. Every time I shared the photo from this role, I feel like people liked it. Maybe I'm just being hard on myself and the role, but we'll see. You'll be the judge of that. Actually, they're not terrible, okay? So the first photo I took, it does look like a really like vintage lens, a crack lens. Like the lab made a mistake. They didn't. It's just a film. For some reason, this film kind of, it's like a lot moodier. Here's a photo my husband took of me. It's fine. I don't mind these effects on like my face, but if it's like a photo that I might want to print and frame, I'm a little kind of like salty about it. Here are some of the photos that I think it really worked or helped out the images. If you've ever been to New York and you've ridden a subway, like you've gotten on the subway, you know that the subways are super gritty, super grungy. I think this is really the only place where this film worked out of this role. It really adds to like the grunge feel of the MTA subway station. This one is my favorite shot. It's not sharp. It's actually very blurry, but the scratches, the streaks on this film added to the mood 
and also the tones of this film the film is very cool very kind of green it's almost like you're underwater it's actually my favorite shot on this whole role yes it's blurry but i love it i love it so much damn it i just love it so much there's a time and a place for experimental films it's not universally compatible for every scene it's up to you if you want to spend like 17 dollars on a film and then spend money to get it developed and scanned it's up to you i'm just showing you these photos i kind of wish the streaks weren't there it kind of just looks like a cat just went crazy on the negatives <laughs> before it was scanned there are places and times and events where they would be successful i just feel like for 18 dollars a pop and that's just the role you really have to be mindful on when and where you're going to use it personally i would only use a point and shoot camera for these you want a camera that has a flash i wouldn't use an slr for this if you buy films like this it's because you're trying to have a good time this is you're trying to have fun this is not a portfolio role not even close let me know what you guys think of the photos will you buy these two films will you try them um, and also let me know if there are any experimental weird overlay films you want me to try i would really buy it and show them to you i don't mind i'm really just curious about all the experimental film set all these new brands and new companies are making now if you want to see more images or just kind of like stay updated to the photos or like what shoots i'm doing next before i share the youtube video of it definitely follow me on my instagram i do post there daily if not on my feed i'm always sharing something on my stories i share a lot of music on my instagram music is a really big part of my life i'm not a musician i just enjoy music and if you want to see more of my work my actual like portfolio here is my website in my website i have links to my merch store and my print shop and i will be updating my print shop very soon i do have a lot of work that needs to go up there as always thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you guys and i'll talk to you guys soon peace